literally. It's a, it's a little, <laughs> because of, like, the handheld stuff and, like, what you're talking about with it, it's kind of hard to hold on to. It kind of gives away, like, it doesn't have the, as ease as, like, a big fuck machine would have. Yeah. Or, like, that kind of aesthetic of, like, something just, like, stably, like, fucking you. Yeah. It's a little bit more, like... Like squiggling around and yeah. like moving and stuff. Yeah. Um. So it's not like my ideal toy, I would say. Is it rechargeable? Yes. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. that has like this car battery or something inside of it. It's ridiculous. Jesus. I don't know. Jesus. And that silicone feels like a very yeah. nice silicone. Yeah. It's yeah. really like they yeah. did a quality job. They did a good um, job with it. Yeah. yeah for sure. As far as as far as handheld fuck machines go. Exactly. I think they killed it. But it is very expensive. It's like a three hundred dollar USD toy. Oh yeah. So I think okay. so. Or maybe it is. I might get to have that wrong. That could be Canadian, but um, it's up there though. It's up there. It's an yeah. expensive it's toy. An expensive one. Um, another uh, expensive toy that I wanted to ask you about, which yeah. you obviously couldn't bring because it's enormous, oh. um, is the cowgirl. Yeah, yeah. Tell me a bit about so that. So the cowgirl is. I don't. I'm sure people watching will probably know the famous Sibian yes. uh, sex toy machines, which are like these straddle straddleable. <laughs> like yeah, it's like machines, a um, like a pillow, like a saddle, saddle thing that you straddle. Yeah, and it vibrates like it's really really rumbly. It's kind of like an iconic thing in porn and stuff yes. like that oh i was so, sitting on one uh interviewing lady shane oh, if you go amazing. back to the youtube video of that she's she's playing with that she made me just sit on it for the like with no attachment like just for the interview oh, and she just would so fun. put it on whenever <gasps> she wanted amazing. to I love that. Uh, so you wow. could go back <laughs> I see that. So that's the Sibian, but this is the cow girl. Yeah. So, so yeah. um Alicia St. Clair, um or Alicia, sorry, uh, St. Clair. Um she um has done B Vibe and Lawand, um, and then the Cowgirl, which is kinda like they not rebranded, but they kinda like I guess yeah, rebranding might be a word, but they took kinda like the idea of what the Sibian was, but made it a little bit more luxe and a little bit more um kind of like more aesthetic and comfortable mm -hmm. so it's like the machine looks just like it's a gorgeous machine it has like this beautiful like leather saddle and it's kind of like this like cowboy cowgirl cow person vibe. Kind of vibe yeah that's going on with it it's like black and luxe and really nice um it's got like a remote like the nice remote control mm -hmm. you can also get the app on your phone if you wanted to i didn't realize yeah that. you okay. can yeah so okay. i didn't try that out but um just because i had the remote and i didn't need to but if you wanted to you could use the remote control yeah um on the app and yeah it's like a rumbly fun machine and they have like all silicone attachments yeah um and which i found were like to be honest like not a lot nicer looking than what i saw with the sibians like offerings yes um yeah so <laughs> i really loved it it was such a fun time yeah, yeah and I, w I didn't think i was going to to be honest and but... you don't mind um having to straddle it I thought I would have an like issue that with that. being in that position while masturbating? Yeah. So I'm not used to, like, I don't know, masturbating standing up. Or I don't know if that's, like, I'm someone who's just, like, a back layer. Like, I just yes. lay on my back and I'm, like, I'm fine with this. Like, I normally don't, like, get up and, like, do, do things. things. Yeah. Or, like, hump things. Like, that's not never been my masturbation routine. Yeah. Um, so it was kind of, like, so, I didn't, so that's why I didn't think. I was, like, oh, I'm going to have to, like, sit on something. Yeah. And also, like, as a fat person, like, sitting up and straddling something and having your legs open for, like, a while. That's, like, you know, something that you're, like, oh, that could be difficult. Effort. To, yeah, it's an effort. Yeah. Um, so I didn't think, like, Maximum I would be used effort. to it. <laughs> yeah. So I actually, like, I, when I played with it, I played it for, like, the first time I tried it. I did it for, like, a really, like, long session. Mm -hmm. um, and, like, my, like... Luckily, the seat is really comfortable. Yeah. Your knees, you do have to kind of, like, decide Readjust. on something to do. So, like, or, like, put pillows underneath them or something like that. Um, eventually, like, I used on my floor in my living room first. And then I was, like... I should probably stop doing this in a public space because <laughs> I live with roommates. So, like, and, like, I was, like, worried about them walking in. So I was, like, okay, I'll be a little bit more comfortable going to my bedroom. And I put it on my bed. Um, and my bed's really, like, squishy. So there was kind of, like, a bit of adjustment issues going on. Like, I was sometimes going too forward, sometimes going too back. Um, so, but I finally, like, found, like, a position that I was, like, cool, it's good and comfy. And then I kind of had to get used to... Um, like writing something but like I think I don't know I put up some porn and I was like okay like let's focus on this like you know try to incorporate the normal things that you do in your masturbation routine anyway yeah so it felt like I was just sitting on it expecting I should be horny like it but like it was like no I'm not doing no, like get the normal in the get mood. in the mood yeah exactly like, get your mind engaged exactly yeah yes. so I was like oh I should do this and then um once I did I was like oh this is like I'm getting like I was like okay I'm like finding like a groove with this and yeah. it's getting comfortable and I switched out the attachment for like an insertable one mm -hmm. um and tried that out and then I like I wrote it and I was like oh I was like I'm having a lot of fantasies about like riding people right now so I was like put on that and then um yeah it was just, like it was really good and I had a really awesome orgasm and my legs were tired afterwards <laughs> it was really good yeah <laughs> you earned it yeah uh, 
And this this toy is super expensive. Oh, very. It's like two thousand dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's very large and heavy. Oh, I, very heavy. Yeah, yeah it's like fifty something pounds or something. I have to carry it. My apartment is pure stairs, and I'm on like I think it's like the like third or fourth level. It's like luckily one staircase just goes up, but um, carrying, carrying it up was like a difficulty. And then I like the reason why they sent it to me originally was because I had it for um like at a relaunch party for my blog um like, like in march yeah. so they sent it to me to like put there because they were one of my sponsors so yeah. um i had to like luckily like i had this like little buggy thing that i like put it on top of and like rolled it down <laughs> but like i had to my friends at the end of the night like took it home for me so i could go out after and like yeah it was, a, it was like, kind of funny <laughs> <laughs> okay speaking of sponsors i don't yeah. think i can go too much longer before sure, talking yeah. and speaking about mine yeah, cool. so first i'm going to talk about oasis aqua lounge which is located here in toronto at 231 mutual street um they're also at oasis com if you want to take a look at all their offerings they are a um completely in inclusive venue when it comes to people of any gender of any type of sexuality they are shame free and judgment free when it comes to pleasure and play they have a fantastic facility um, and a lot of great offerings for people like going for the first time so they're they're gonna hold your hand and they're you know it's nothing to be scared about at all they've got a lot of like spa like facilities they've got kinky facilities they got kitschy facilities they have like sex experts um, doing presentations they have uh, performances the burlesque different uh, people who are pornographers and whatnot. So go check it out, oasisaqualounge.com. Secondly, uh, comeasyouare.com is fantastic. Oh, uh, nice. Trans owned, trans operated sex shop that has started here in Toronto uh, like forever ago. Right now they're online um, and they're feminists, they're anti-capitalist. Uh, they want to give you the breast, the breast, the breast toys. They, do. <laughs> they, they have do. breast toys too. Yeah, they do. They got, um, they got breasts. Yeah, they got breasts. <laughs> <laughs> at the lowest price possible so we're going to give you a coupon code it's bedpost and uh it's b-e-d-p-o-s-t you can get 15 percent off your next purchase at come as you are.com and one of the uh, vendors that is at come as you com um is unicorn collaborators they're a fantastic leather making brand they're body positive they make stuff for all different types of bodies all different types of genders um they are really into creative collaborations that's their like number one thing and you can see them on twitter at you collaborators or on instagram they're on etsy at unicorn collaborators or you can email them directly at unicorn collaborators at gmail.com lastly um my newest sponsor is provocative Couture Images, which is a boudoir photography oh, studio. Amazing. Yes, oh. it's awesome stuff. I've uh, we've got a thing where he shot a bunch of my posters. They're absolutely beautiful. Um, anybody that's interested in doing this, either for themselves, uh, for a partner, uh, with your partner, um, there are lots of different options to get amazing boudoir shots. Uh, and they gave a coupon code as well. It's bedpost. So B E D P O S T. You can get ten percent off. Uh, and depending on what package you choose. That can be $65 off to $250 off. So like a huge amount of savings. You can go to their Instagram at provocateur underscore image images, provocateur underscore images. Say it a little better. Uh, or you can just go to their website and see the full portfolio at provocateurimages.ca. That's it. Thank you, uh, everyone, for my sponsors today. Love you. Hi, Suze. <laughs> We're back with Suze Ellis. A uh, sex writer, a uh, sex toy reviewer, a content creator. Oh, that's right. oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was looking at your bloggies. Um, fantastic blog at redhotseas.com. Um, one, I think the latest blog at the time that this is airing, yeah. it's called Fuck You, Pay Me. <laughs> oh, that one. Yeah, that one. <laughs> Which, oh, shit. I meant to wear my I Have Fuck You, Pay Me oh, earrings. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> By Femboyant oh, Designs. Oh, I love them. Oh, I love them. I've got the thick thighs save lives. Ones. Yeah, yeah, thick thighs so save good. lives. Yeah. Um, tell me about your journey with uh, getting people to fucking pay for your nudes rather yeah. than just giving that shit away for free. Yeah. <laughs> so when I started um, like my sex positive Twitter, which is like my blog Twitter, um, yeah. I like obviously like you post content that um, like because it's like you're like oh I'm finally like having a space for me to be like free. Uh, like with my body online yeah. um and like obviously like i wasn't i, w I d definitely d hadn't posted any like nipple stuff or anything like that because like i think that was the line where i was like pay me for my nipples you're <laughs> like last year, almost everything else but pay me for my nipples pay me for my vulva pay me for my asshole that's yeah. it but like the rest of the the bot is totally 
free, for, <laughs> free and available. Um, yeah, so it was just kind of like a place where I was like, okay, like I can like be liberated and then show my body off in like a positive way and get positive reactions. Yeah. Um, and that definitely like helped me like build my like blog audience and like especially on Instagram too. Yeah. Um, but then like somewhere along the way, I think like someone was just like, hey, like do you have any nudes that I can buy from you or like can I like I think I don't know if it's how it started exactly, but like it was maybe it was a cam show. Um, but like people like interest somebody, was there. Yeah, right? somebody asked to buy them. Yeah, and then I think there's a lot. There was a lot of people obviously asking for their own personal ones, and I was like, I'm not gonna give you personal ones. You there's the free ones that are or like dudes there. DMing yeah. you to be like send yeah. me nudes. Yeah, and send it's like yeah, I was like I already have like a, like it's not like I was posting like tons of nudes. Like I was put like it was just like you know, a little bit scantily clad pictures here of and course, there. Yes. Um, but yeah, people would just be like, oh, like, I want to see you naked. Like, basically, like, which they meant nipples, vulva, well, asshole. So, yeah. um, it was, so I was just like, hey, like, I'm not going to. And I knew, like, friends like Kate Sloan yeah. who would charge people. So I was like, all right, I was like, I should have started doing that. So, yeah, um, yeah, I started, um, like, I think it was, like, just, like, individually just with people. And then I was, like, had a Patreon that um, I had started for, like, a class project <laughs> uh, which yeah <laughs> a while ago for like one of my communications classes they're like oh do you like a project like a kickstarter or something and i was yeah. like oh i'll do a patreon for my blog yeah. i didn't brand it as nudes at the time but i but i was like i'm not doing anything with this like i probably had like two patreon patrons or whatever <laughs> um so i was like oh i'll change it into a nude one and then make a lot more money yeah so then i just started doing that and kind of like steamrolled from there mm -hmm. um and then that's been being like i mean Patreon has been having some issues with adult content creators um, as of recent just because, like, their um, ownership is changing a bit. Okay. And they are, like, payment processors are knowing that they, like, they have yeah. adult content creators on the platform. Yeah. So they're, like, um, having to, like, shut down people and, like, it's been a big issue. Yeah. Luckily, a lot of people have been be able to get back up. Like, uh, they shut me down for, like, a, a quick minute. Oh. But then um, I just had to change one of my posts to private, and they are like, oh, it's good now. So okay. we'll see how that goes. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, like, as of now, I'm fine. Um, but, yeah, I just started doing that, and then um, I so So anybody that – sorry to cut you off. So yeah, any, anybody that, like, is now DMing you and being like, send me nudes, you yeah. can be like, Here, here's the link. the link. Yeah, I just here's send the, the link. link. It's super easy. It's like, yeah, here you go. Here you go, That's buddy. It. Here you go, asshole. <laughs> That's it, yeah. Does that shut down? Like, because I'm a content creator as well who's yeah. creating sexy content. It, so many fucking messages. I know. So does that <laughs> shut it down to be like, great, here's the link where you can pay me for that? Then what do they do? I mean, there's what do like they some people who can 